Welcome to our presentation of the Fontaine Traverse HT. This trailer is one of the most versatile trailers Fontaine builds. It not only has uses in the rental market, but it's widely used in the construction market as well. We have heavy haul construction customers that are using this daily to haul D6s, Cat 320s, motor grader type equipment, paving equipment, and a variety of rollers and other heavy haul equipment. You know, the biggest aspect of this trailer is the load angle. So you can kind of see here, when you dump the air out of this trailer, you get a 10 to 10 and a half degree load angle. That's very important, especially when you're loading low clearance equipment. You know, you can get your low clearance equipment up here without high centering on that hinge and having to operate the trailer. A lot of the competition with a higher load angle of 14 to 15 degrees, the driver has to spend time operating the trailer while he's loading equipment on here. The other great use on the construction side of this is the breakover point. So if you're loading a large Cat 320 excavator, because this angle is much lower, you don't have that breakover and the jolting of the trailer when he does the breakover and has to center out to go over the hinge point. We'll kind of move towards the front of the trailer and start at the front for the rest of our tour. This trailer is rated for 40 tons evenly distributed. You know, if you look at that, that's kind of hard on figuring out how you load something in an evenly distributed load. So we also do dual ratings of 25 tons in 10 feet or 33 tons in 16 feet. In talking about just the overall gooseneck design, this is a flat gooseneck and it's a 10 foot upper deck area. The nice thing about this, you can load a lot of equipment up here on top because of that flat surface. We're standard with an 18K winch. When you look at competitive trailers, a lot of competitors are standard with a 12K winch. We also offer as an upgrade a 20K worn winch, which is a two speed winch. But one of the nice features of this 18K winch is you actually have an air release. So on your controls back here, you can pull that air release and be able to free wheel that winch very easily. You can add a winch guard optional if you need additional protection for your winch. This trailer has dual locking toolboxes. You can see one of the nice features is it has a gas shock, which also kind of helps prevent this toolbox lid, which is pretty heavy from falling and catching any driver's hands. Kind of moving down the gooseneck, you'll kind of see all these controls. Like I said, here's your, if you want to engage the free wheel, you're just gonna pull this and you're gonna be able to free wheel that winch very easily. You have kind of your tail locks. This is gonna be your dump valve to dump all the air out of the suspension. You're always gonna, to get the best angle, want to pull this dump valve so that you can safely load and unload all of your equipment. And then you have some work lights and some ramp locks. But in talking about how this operates, you can see you have four control levers. This is actually a Prince valve. This is one of the most expensive parts on an HT. So what we do to try to kind of protect that, is we have these two cover plates that cover this valve to help prevent debris from getting into the valve body. Looking at your control levers, you have four levers. The first one's gonna be for your winch. Your second one's gonna be for your ramp. You have a main tail control and a flip tail control. You also have, all these trailers come standard with this remote control. So this can, remote control is gonna control everything except for your front ramp. We are standard with a two-speed landing gear. So if you ever need to drop your trailer, it's a quick drop. You can crank these down and be out from under the trailer in just a few seconds. A lot of the competition uses a pin drop. So you're gonna have to kind of crawl under there and drop those pins and get everything leveled up before you're able to detach and move on. We are standard on both sides with a grab handle and a step so you can safely get on and off the deck of the trailer pretty easily on both sides. This trailer is equipped with optional work lights. So if you're after hours and it's dark or before the daylight comes up, you can use these lights. You can operate that with a switch there and it'll help you see loading and unloading. Now, just to demonstrate the front flip ramp, you're gonna raise this front flip ramp to its highest position and then you're going to engage the airlocks and then you can lower the ramp on top of the locks. In this position, you have about a 13 degree load angle. So this will allow you to load small 19 foot scissor lifts up onto the front deck. And most people can get store two of those up there at a time. But with this angle, you can get most of your low clearance equipment to the top as well. The great thing about this front ramp is it still has all the traction plate on it. You can see through the center that you have tie down points so you can easily tie down equipment if you have to store it on this ramp in the up position or the down position. Also, if you're storing equipment on this in the up position, we have these four slots which have been designed to let you tie directly to this ramp. 
So the nice part about that before you were actually having to tie all the way down to this top flange. So it's a much safer securement option. Again, you see though, if, when the ramp's down, you have plenty of securements along that front ramp. Kind of moving down the deck, we utilize Apatong for this trailer as well as a Fontaine standard. So this is inch and three eighths Apatong. This trailer is on 18 inch centers. You can see you also have tie downs to the middle. So if you're loading various equipments and sitting side by side, you have lots of tie downs options. You look down the side of the trailer, you have on 18 inch centers, you have a different tie down location. So you have your stake pockets and what are more designed for binders. And then you have your chain hook slots. Kind of continuing on down the trailer. This trailer is actually equipped with optional outside aluminum wheels. Our standard is going to be steel wheels on 235 tires and we have upgrade options to 245 tires as well. If your trailer is equipped with the optional TireMax Pro system, you'll see these extra cords going to the hub. Um, what this system does, is it actually equalizes your tire pressure across the duals. So when you're running 235 tires, they're harder to service. So having this tire inflation system that inflates or deflates your tires from your truck pressure can be a great added benefit. One of the things we talked about at the beginning of the video was the load angle and how we get there. Most of your competition is going to break kind of rear of this back tire of your second axle. Ours breaks forward of the center line of the rear axle. What this does is this gives us a longer tail. So you get a 10 foot main tail and a four foot flip tail, which gives you that 10 and a half degree load angle. We also use a full width heavy duty hinge. It's actually a greasable hinge as well. So you can prevent metal on metal wear. Again, in talking just about the design of this rear ramp, um, we've gone through a lot of iterations on this star pattern. So this star pattern in the middle is moved together closer so that you can get your small wheeled equipment up on there during slick conditions. The outside you see is more spread out because they're mainly going to be utilized for tracked equipment, which is also why everything is standard with cleat bars. You'll also notice that we flare the welding on these cleat bars and that helps prevent those cleat bars from pulling off when you're backing large track equipment off the trailer. One of the nice things on our tail, and we'll lift it up in just a second and look at it, is we have a dual flip tail lock. So those dual flip tail locks actually provide two purposes. One is when you're in this position here and you look at those, they're going to connect with the ground. So what that does when you're loading large track equipment, it's going to help prevent your trailer from rocking side to side. So now we'll kind of lift this up and look at some of the locks and features underneath the tail. So one feature while this is going up that we can talk about is you have a swing out light here. So if you are loading in dusk and dawn times, you can have that light on as well. So when we talk about in this position, you can kind of see these tail locks better. So you can see you have a ramp lock on both sides that's going to support that tail when it's flipped under. You also can see the main tail lock, which is this yellow piece and I'll kind of activate that so you can see that. So once that these locks are in place, this typically is going to hold the flip tail and then you see that one's going to come across and connect with that shaft. So now I just disengage those locks so that we can flip this flip tail in and look at some additional features. So one of the things we can talk about while this flip tail is flipping in is we actually have a strobe kit on this trailer as well. So you can see in the center you have the amber light so again, like all of our heavy haul, this has a battery backup. So if you disconnect from your truck, these lights are going to stay on as well. So again, once you have that flip tail all the way in, you're going to want to engage those locks. And you can kind of see how both of these locks come under and catch this flip tail. So if this flip tail were to lose hydraulic pressure, these locks are going to keep this in place going down the road. So once you have these locks in place, you're just going to want to lower your main tail down. And one thing you'll be able to feel it if you're doing the controls, you'll be able to see when or feel when that tail lock seats onto that tubing properly. Continuing to the rear to talk about some other things. We have six hinges that run across the rear of this trailer. Each of these hinges have a stainless steel hardened pin 
that has been designed for a longer life cycle, but they're also very easily replaceable. One of the things that's different on ours than the competition is the competition uses a piano hinge back here, and those have a tendency to pull apart easily in the field. We also have a chain tie down in this area. So if you have something that's overhanging, you also have a tie down point at the rear as well. Just talking about the main tail in general, this tail is rated to lift 25,000 pounds to dock height or to 72 inches. When you look at a lot of the competition, they're only rated for 20,000 pounds. So you can transport and lift 25,000 pounds on this tail. We'll continue along the side and talk about a few more features. One of the nice optional features that we have from a safety perspective is this non-skid paint. So you can see we painted the top flanges of this with a black non-skid paint. Your drivers are walking on top of this trailer a lot, so with this being close to the edge, it's just a nice added safety benefit. We talked about the front gooseneck being a nine foot, 10 inch overall front gooseneck. What that leaves you since this is a 48 foot overall trailer is 38 feet, two inches of usable loadable deck space. So you can put various equipment and multiple pieces on one load. This trailer is also designed with a 35 inch loaded deck height. So in comparison to competition, we can be sometimes an inch to two inches lower than the competitive trailers at 36 to 37 inches. So anytime you can have more height, you know, you're in a much better situation. Kind of continuing along, we've talked about some of these features, but you'll see you still have your step and your handle on both sides so you can easily access this upper deck. You have controls on both sides so the driver can be in a safe position if he's on the side of the road somewhere. Again, all of your locks as well, so everything can be operated from this side. This concludes our presentation of the Fontaine Traverse HT. We hope this information's been helpful to you. This trailer is built and backed by a brand you know and trust in the industry. Fontaine Heavy Hall. Reach out to your local dealer for additional information.